Hello YouTube divers, this is WaterDive122, and pretty sure a lot of you all out there just saw the Panthers get beaten by the Atlanta frickin' frackin' Falcons. Falcons won by a final of 25-17. to 17. Just terrible. Absolutely terrible. Awful performance by the Panthers. Aside from those two drives that the Panthers had, aside from those two touchdown drives that the Panthers had in that 42 yard catch by DJ Moore, the Panthers, I mean, Teddy Bridgewater just didn't, almost didn't show up. He had his worst game of the season without question. Nothing was able to click, especially on offense. I'm just really disappointed in the Panthers right now. And I'm a huge Panthers fan. I freaking hate the Falcons. I'm sorry for any of you Falcons fans out there. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, divisional rival, all that fun jazz crap, whatever you want to call it. But, yeah, I'm very disappointed in the Panthers right now. And it's not going to get any easier for the Panthers. They are at Kansas City, and then they're at Tampa, and then they host Tampa Bay. Two teams that should absolutely run all over them. I get it. It's Matt Rule's first year with Carolina. I get it. We're a very, 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 very young team and inexperienced. But come on. We, despite us being young, we are very, very, very competitive. And today we just didn't show up. I mean, Teddy Bridgewater just looked like he just didn't want to be there, aside from those two touchdown drives and that final drive. But really, Teddy Bridgewater did not feel like... Really, I feel like that Teddy Bridgewater just didn't want to win, didn't want us to win. Um, I'm not saying that this is necessarily on Bridgewater. I mean, nothing got clicking for us. And it was against a terrible Falcons defense. I mean, how? I mean... <sighs> I mean, especially coming off of a three-point almost win against the Saints, let alone, or at least, or at the very least, an overtime shot against the Saints, and after barely beating the Chicago Bear, and after barely barely losing to the Chicago Bears, and that, and coming off of that three-game win streak when you beat teams like the Chargers and Cardinals, this was a disappointing game, very disappointing game. Very, very disappointing game for the Panthers. And it's and like I said earlier, it's not going to get any easier. So, pick the Panthers to be 9-7. and seven. Yeah, that's not going to happen. No. And because, you know, I usually don't predict Thursday night football games, I actually predicted the Panthers to win this game. I was wrong. A lot of folks out there were wrong. Um... Kudos to everybody who picked the Falcons to upset the Panthers, and they did. So, and the Bron and the Falcons take on the Broncos next week. Um, yeah, I feel like the Falcons should win that game, but I hope the Broncos win that game. Um, and of course, Panthers are going to lose the Chiefs, no question. There's one team that I feel like is going to score 50 points on us this year. It's going to be the Chiefs. Or it could be the Bucks. Who knows? But honestly, the way that we're playing, it feels like we're tanking for Trevor Lawrence. But that's probably not going to happen because he's probably going to go to the Jets or something. I don't know. So, um, yeah. So, yeah. So, next week... Panthers, you really let me down. You really let me down. I had high hopes for this game, and I thought that Flea Flicker touchdown could have set us the momentum, the game changing. But we couldn't convert on fourth down. We just couldn't do anything, really. This game was just downright bad. So, yeah, that's all I have to say about the pitiful Panthers. So we split with the Falcons, not bad, but we honestly could have swept them. So, 
Yeah, I think that's all, basically all I have to say. Thank you so much, fellow YouTube divers. This is Water I 122 signing off. Ready to dive into more fun on YouTube. Thanks for watching.